Hey guys, this is Rich from Rich Steve Live, and I wanted to talk to you again about green growth brands. So they're up 3% in Canada at $5.88. I want to mark this here. And I just feel like this company's on a mission. They're on a mission. I just, the, the CEO is just doing deal after deal after deal after deal. And the stock is really strong for a company that's pretty much brand new and new to the scene, but they've got a very aggressive CEO. And you could see that they've just been holding very, very steady here at these prices and up 2.9% in America at $4.42 and at $5.88 in Canada, up 3%. So there's some news today that I read that once again, I see their name because these guys, their name is everywhere. Get them high on your supply. <laughs> Get them high on your supply is the title. More cannabis retail and supply agreements. This is breaking news from today. Investorideas.com, a leading investor news resource covering hemp and cannabis stocks, released a snapshot looking at the new supply and retail opportunities opening up in the cannabis sector with more relaxed legislation and outside industry support. At legalization and public perception, can, as legalization and public perception continue to change surrounding the cannabis sector, particularly hemp. We see more and more retail and supply chain agreements coming to the sector in 2019, many in new areas with partners to the industry, with new partners to the industry. It's a big week for cannabis stocks with some of the leaders reporting earnings and major deals being announced, showcasing how significant this sector is becoming. Making sure to strike while the iron is hot for cannabis, Green Growth Brands Inc., GGB on the CNSX, GGBXF on the OTCQB, which I just showed you guys previously, announced yesterday it has entered into an agreement with Simon Property Group Inc., a company that I broke to you guys yesterday. And it's funny because after I broke this news, SPG, this is a $185 stock. Like, this is no joke, eh? So when you got a partner like this, sorry, $184 stock. When you got a partner like this and you're GGB and you're partnering now with $184 stock, this is big. This is big. I like this. I like this partnership. So I don't know. Like, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that this is a good partnership? Do you think that this is... The type of situation you want to be involved with. Clearly, Simon Property Group has been doing quite well at $184. They're a multi-billion dollar company. So this can only be good for green growth brands to partner with a company that's trading at what? More than 30 times their price on the New York Stock Exchange? Giving GGB access to 108 prime shop locations in U.S. malls owned and operated by Simon. GGB will further expand its chain of CBD-infused personal care product shops under the 7th Sense Botanical Therapy brand and other GGB brands. Our partnership with Simon allows GGB to launch our brands and CBD products in premier shopping destinations across the U.S., said Peter Horvath, CEO of GGB. Our management team has had decades of experience working closely with developers and operating premium retail stores in their properties. We know this arrangement gives us access to the best locations, foot traffic, and consumers. We look forward to introducing our remarkable retail experience and line up CBD products to Simon shoppers in the near future. Wow, this is big. I love this news. Simon is the largest shopping operator in the United States, and its high-profile properties include Roosevelt Field in Metro New York. My goodness. The Galleria in Houston. Wow. <laughs> They're going to have cannabis there? And Woodbury Common Premium Outlets in Central Valley, New York. The expansive nature of the relationship with Simon makes it the first of its kind in the CBD industry and will give GGB access to entire markets of new customers at many of the nation's most productive retail locations. This can be only huge for GGB moving forward. GGB Beauty also recently 
announced a licensing agreement with Authentic Brands Group to develop a line of CBD-infused personal care products. The company will be working with Tilray, T-L-R-Y on the NASDAQ, as the preferred supplier of CBD ingredients to be used in these products. Let's just take a look at Tilray's price action right now. I haven't looked at Tilray in a while because they're so high. $77.87, up 3.25%. So you can see that the cannabis stocks are up today. Let's mark Tilray. It's funny because I've been watching Tilray since it IPO'd. And I brought it to you guys first. When it did IPO at around $20. Let's look at the one-year price action. Literally, I brought it to you guys first in July when it did its IPO. And like it was at, you know, when I brought it to you guys, like, $18, $19, $20, and then bam, we see the explosion went as high as $300. And right now it's trading at $77, which I still think is a high price for Tilray. But Tilray has a very tight float, and Tilray continues to make deals. So this is a good news for Tilray and Green Growth Brands, okay? So this is huge. Look at this. The company will be working with Tilray as the preferred supplier of the CBD ingredients to be used in these products. So Tilray and GGB are going to work together. I want you guys to really analyze this and understand what we're seeing here. Tilray recently entered into a marketing agreement with Authentic, Authentic Brands Group to market and distribute a portfolio of consumer cannabis products within Authentic's brand portfolio in jurisdictions where regulations permit. Tilray Inc. is expected to release fourth quarter 2008 results February 12th at the close. In the last reported quarter, Tilray beat earning expectations by 42.9% after going public in July 2018. Aurora beat earnings estimates reporting on its financials for the second quarter ended December 31st, 2018. The report was positive with a net revenue of $54.2 million, up 83% sequentially and up 363% compared to the same period in 2018. Driven by Aurora's strong performance in the launch of the Canadian consumer market with sales of $21.6 million and the company's continued strength in the Canadian and international medical markets with sales of 26 million up 8% in revenue and 23% in volume sold. Wow. This is why Aurora is up right now. Let's take a look at Aurora Cannabis. Let's look at my number one pick. And it is up 2% at $7.32. I will just mark it right here. And that is in America, $7.32. And in Canada, they are priced at $9.71 right there. So that is Aurora Cannabis. And let's just see what they continue to say in the article here. Aurora Cannabis Inc., ACB on the New York Stock Exchange, also ACB on the Toronto Stock Exchange, TSX has been strategically expanding its international footprint from day one, and the company has now announced that it completed its first commercial export of cannabis oil to the United Kingdom, and the product has been successfully dispensed from a pharmacy. Wow, this is huge. Now doing business in the UK. Competitor company, Canopy Growth, CGC. Let's take a look at CGC and their price action today. On the New York Stock Exchange, Canopy Growth, $44.35. We will mark it there. We look at their one-year chart. You can see that they've been as high as $56 in America, currently at $44. And the symbol in Canada, love their symbol, weed. Best symbol ever for this industry, currently at $59. You can see they've been as high as $73. So there's been a little drop here. They've been as low recently as 36 in December when everything was at the bottom. And they're sitting at 59 right now. So Canopy Growth is also expected to release their quarterly results this week on Thursday, February the 14th. Canopy made headlines in mid-January with news that it has been granted a license by New York State to process and produce hemp. Canopy says it will establish within the hemp industrial park large-scale production capabilities focused on hemp extraction and product manufacturing 
within the United States. They also said, depending on board approval of a specific site, Canopy Growth intends to invest between 100 million USD and 150 million USD in its New York operations, capable of producing tons of hemp extract on an annual basis. New Frontier Data just reported that in 2018, the global hemp market reached 3.74 billion in retail sales with an annual growth rate of 15%. And by 2020, of a four-year CAGR of 20%, the global market projects to 5.73 billion. These numbers are massive. Deals like GGBs with Simon or Tilray's with AGB are fast becoming the norm as perception around cannabis and hemp changes and this industry continues to expand it's only a matter of time before the whole world is high on their supply <laughs> wow this is a great article this is a great article talking about all of the top stocks and it's funny they're mentioning green growth brands with all of these big companies and they're working with all these big companies. So what do you guys think about this? Remember, Risk TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on our show. Remember, we are not a financial advisor. Past performance is not an indicator of future results. What goes up will come down. What goes down will go up unless it's a really bad company and we want to identify that for you the people and you can go to rich tv live and we're going to be revamping this website and there's going to be a lot of changes you can also join our telegram we have a new telegram group you're welcome to join it i will have a description below of this video thank you guys for watching if you're not winning you're not watching this is your boy rich we bring in the news and we bring it to you first follow us on all social media platforms absolutely free it's your boy rich and yeah Get them high on your supply. More cannabis retail and supply agreements. And there you see green growth brands doing big things. What do you guys think? Smash the like button. Comment down below. Share the video everywhere. If I win and you win, we all win. People don't even know about green growth brands. But your boy knows. And you're watching at home, so you know. So get your popcorn ready. We in for a show. I'm out. Peace. Green growth brands. Green growth brands, eh? These guys just keep making headlines every single day. Green growth brands. Look at that chart. That is a beautiful chart. Oh my goodness, that's a thing of beauty. That is a thing of beauty. All right. I'm out.